walkthroughs, walkthroughs, walkthroughs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, when I first started playing video games and uh, looking up on the internet for walkthroughs, um, this is back in the late 90s. A walkthrough originally meant somebody who knew a game really, really well and um, could guide you through every aspect nook and cranny of a game and give you all kinds of detailed strategies on how to play a game with finesse and complete it, you know, without using a lot of resources. And if you look at some of the original walkthroughs, um, say for Doom, you know, that's one of the original FPS's first person shooters came back came out way back in I believe ninety four. Yeah, people wrote up walkthroughs for Dooms. Um by the way back then there was no such thing as a video walkthrough. You had to write them up by hand. Check it out. Doom walkthrough, you look it up on Google and you see some original walkthroughs written up entirely, you know, uh in text and you read through it and you know, these kind of walkthroughs required a tremendous amount of of work and effort to complete, you know. I mean guys who do these walkthroughs, not only do they know the game well, but just to actually write it out by hand, you know, um it takes a lot of work to do something like that. And uh yeah. So to me, um, as a geezer gamer, <laughs> somebody who's been into gaming for like, you know, probably twice as long as how old a lot of you guys are. <laughs> you know, I've been into, into gaming for over 30 years, okay? Um, to me, a walkthrough, that's what a walkthrough is. And, you know, like a serious walkthrough. Somebody who knows the game really well and it's going to feed you um, detailed strategies on how to play a game of finesse. Okay, and, and you know how to complete the game. Not not just simply point you in, in this direction, point you in that direction, go here, go get this key, you know, but actually show you what to do to, to play a game with finesse and complete it um, without using a lot of resources, without using a lot of ammo, without gobbling down all your health gets. To me, that is what a real walkthrough is. On YouTube, a walkthrough has come to be defined. Unfortunately, as just simply somebody playing a game uh, usually for the second or third time and um, not that I'm knocking what's going down on YouTube with a lot of walkthroughs you know but all the power to them they get a lot of subscribers they get a lot of hits and um, a lot of comments um, so you know all the power to them but to me that's not a real walkthrough you know if you play a game through once and then you record yourself playing it through a second time and you you know have a general idea of how to complete the game but you, you don't really know any you haven't worked out any detailed strategies on how to play the game with finesse, you know, and uh, I see a lot of these walkthroughs that just like, I've been watching a lot of walkthroughs by the way, lately, and I see a lot of these walkthroughs, they're just, they're, you know, quite frankly surviving by the skin of their teeth, you know, their, their basic one and only strategy is to simply brazenly run and gun their way through the game and throw the kitchen sink at the enemy, whatever that may be at the time, you know, whatever they got in their inventory, just throw that at the enemy and, you know, you know, that's their, like, their strategy and it's implied that, you know, well, just do like me and you'll be fine, you know, <laughs> basically there is no strategy there, this is just like rambling their way through the game. I like to point out, by the way, that that term, that's another term that's been come to be mystified on YouTube, you know, when somebody says, oh, we well, just go ramble, you know, through the game, um, you know, which refers to brazenly running and gunning your way through the game with you know in a wild rage <laughs> just like like I said throwing the kitchen sink at the enemy uh, but if you actually watch the first movie the first Rambo movie okay I believe it's first blood um, Rambo was not about brazenly running and gunning his way through hordes of enemies you know um, in, a, in a blind rage I mean he only does that at the very beginning when he's escaping the police station. After that, Rambo is actually all about stealth and strategy. You know, if you study like what Rambo's really all about, that's what he's about. Stealth and strategy. So really, even the term Rambo has become to be mystified on YouTube. Yeah. So, um walkthroughs, yeah, I don't know. For me personally, I mean I, I've been playing Resident Evil right from the very beginning. That's one of the first games I bought. Um, on PlayStation, actually, I think I bought a PlayStation, my first PlayStation for that very game. Uh, I think I bought um, 
Resident Evil 1 and Tekken 3, I believe. Or was it Tekken 2? No, Tekken 2, yeah. Tekken 2 and Resident Evil 1 I bought for my first PlayStation. And um, when I first started playing Resident Evil 1, I was just astonished at, you know, what gaming had become back then, even though now you look back at Resident Evil 1 and it's like, it's like, you know, I can't believe we put up with the graphics like this, you know. Yeah, but back then it was really something. And um, this was before I was even on the internet. And what I, I became so fascinated with this game that what I started to do was uh, I started writing up my own walkthroughs just for fun, just as a hobby. I would write them up by hand, you know, by, you know, in text. Because I, I got really good at Resident Evil 1. In fact, at one point, I had the world's record for the fastest speed run through Resident Evil 1 as Jill, I believe. Um, at that time, this is really slow by today's standards, but at that time, in 1996 or 97, PlayStation Magazine started publishing speed runs and the fastest time. And at that time, the fastest speed run for Jill through Resident Evil 1 was 2 hours and 2 minutes, which is actually say, very, very slow because I think. Um, the record now is like an hour and eight minutes or something like that, yeah. But back then, the record was two hours and two minutes, and I beat that at that time. I had to, I had to run through Resident Evil 1 with Jill at an hour and 58 minutes. So that's how, just as an example, how, um, how much I like this game, really like this game a lot. Yeah, so then um, I started ri actually writing up walkthroughs. I mean, there was nobody to write them up for except myself. I just started doing it. This is a kind of like a hobby. I started, you know, okay, you go here, go go grab the blue jewel, use your shotgun here, etc., etc., you know. So that's how I first started getting into walkthroughs before I even got onto the internet. I didn't even have a computer at the time. I just, just had my PlayStation. So for me, um, that's my roots in making a walkthrough. I'm like, I'm a real hardcore, old school walkthrough fanatic, okay? So when I got onto the internet finally and, um, you know, started seeing what everyone else was doing, at that time, and then you know, in terms of walkthroughs, I said, "Yeah, this is where it's at." You know, it's like you know, these people really know these games well, and you know, yeah, that's me. That's what I want to do. <laughs> so, uh, fast forward to uh, you know, uh, eight or ten years later, and finally get on YouTube. You know, 2008, and you know, this is what you know, this is the kind of walkthrough I was thinking of doing. Even though when I first got on YouTube, I wasn't thinking about doing walkthroughs. I was just thinking about doing cool gameplay videos. But um, everyone just started saying, hey, Slack, you know, you should start doing um, walkthroughs. And um, one of the most frequently requested walkthroughs was that, you know, was Far Cry 2, because I was really into Far Cry 2 at the time. So um, everybody started saying, hey, man, do, you know, do a Far Cry 2 walkthrough. And I said, okay, that sounds like a good idea. And that's when I started, you know, my first walkthrough. I think it was June 2009, I started my Far Cry 2 walkthrough. And if you go back and watch that, you'll see that I approached it exactly with the same attitude that I had before about walkthroughs, you know, it's like I'm not just going to run and gun my way through the game uh, brazenly in a blind rage, you know I'm going to approach the game with uh, a strategic sense and like really approach the game strategically and Far Cry 2 really lends itself to that kind of, you know, approach, you know, it's like you can, it's wide open, it's, a, it's an open world game and you can complete the missions pretty much any way you want and um, for me that was just perfect you know because I just love figuring out really cool strategies to you know to take down you know the bad guys you know so that was that was for me heaven you know the you know creating a walk part that I do and that's generally what um, that's my agenda here on YouTube is to create walkthroughs like that where you know I know the game really well I don't just play the game through once I you know I play the game through at least you know a couple times and then I go back and practice each level and and figure out you know strategies cool strategies that you know help you play the game with finesse for me that's that's really cool that's where I get a lot of enjoyment out of you know just playing games like that and um, like I said before, I've I've been watching a lot of walkthroughs lately on YouTube, and I've noticed that um, some of the best players, you know, I'm not I'm not saying my, I'm a good player, okay? Um, I'm talking about other other what I consider really really good players who make walkthroughs. <clears throat> um, pardon me, who make walkthroughs uh, in the same way that I like to make walkthroughs. They get absolutely no recognition at all, next to no recognition at all. I mean, I've seen some guys go through crisis like they do a perfect, what I would consider a 
perfect run through crisis and they get barely any recognition it's i find it a little astonishing that um these what i consider excellent gamers are not very well known on youtube and the gamers that are really well known the ones that have all the subscribers all the views and all the you know um the comments and everything are the ones that do what I call a YouTube walkthrough where they just like they play the game through once and then they're recording themselves playing the game through the second time and they're just you know running and gunning through the game in a blind rage and uh, <laughs> they're essentially surviving by the skin of their teeth and I'm looking at that going okay that's that's amusing to watch but it's not really a walkthrough you know so um, and then these guys uh, you know they, they get all the views all the subscribers and you know all the comments and um, it's got me thinking you know what do gamers on YouTube really want to see it seems to me that most of you gamers want to see just simply somebody else playing through and surviving by the skin of their teeth <clears throat> because what it involves is just a lot of action and a lot of tension and suspense and, and whatnot you know whereas if somebody like studies a game closely and figures out a really you know, detailed strategy to play a game with finesse, you know, it, um, it appears that that is actually boring to a lot of you gamers out there. It's like, who wants to see somebody play through perfectly? It's like, you know, not, <laughs> you want to see somebody get lambasted every once in a while, you know, or, or like all the time, you know, or get his ass kicked around all the time and surviving by the skin of his teeth. That's like, appears to be what makes entertaining YouTube videos. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd touch upon that uh, that whole thing there about you know what is really a walkthrough and what has come to be defined as a YouTube walkthrough and you know um, what gamers on YouTube uh, find to be entertaining videos. You know, um, an example is my blind playthrough of Dead Space Two. That was. Um, you know that generated a lot by the way these these walkthroughs that other walkthroughs make you know like you know they just like record themselves playing you know running and gunning through the game in a blind rage and you know just you know total disregard for their resources and ammo and whatnot you know and surviving by the skin of their teeth they can go through games a lot faster than somebody who really studies a game and um, works out a detailed strategy and as a result they can just crank out you know a whole bunch of you know game walk walkthroughs quote end quote um, and in that sense stay ahead you know of the curve you know like you know whenever a game comes out they just jump right on it do a quote walkthrough end quote and then jump on to the next new release you know um, I wish I could do that I really wish I could do that I wish I had you know I could just plow through games like that gobble them up and spit them out and then move on to the next one but to me I get sorry I get no enjoyment out of doing that to me I like to really study a game get to know it well and um, you know and work out detailed strategies and, and have fun that's the way I have fun playing a video game um, yeah so uh, if some of you are wondering why I don't like you know I'm not, not jumping right on top of the latest release and releases and cranking out a walkthrough quote end quote um, that's why that's what I'm all about that's what major slack is all about and you know that's that's the whole story and I'm sticking to it <laughs> okay so uh, thank you all very much for watching this and um, if you thought this video was just a whole bunch of fun please please give me a thumbs up thank you thank you thank you very much